Day 1005 Welcome to Ukraine Wireless. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe for daily updates on the war between Ukraine and Russia. As day 1005 of the conflict dawned, Ukraine woke to an intensification of Russian attacks. The numbers are staggering, 224 combat clashes in a single day. Russia launched 37 airstrikes with 48 KBs, unleashed over 270 kamikaze drone strikes, and fired more than 2,000 shells targeting Ukrainian positions and settlements. In the Kharkiv direction, 13 combat clashes tested the mettle of Ukraine's defenders. 11 assaults near Volchansk and Tikhi were repelled with unwavering determination, while two others raged on. The invaders sought to bridge the Ukrainian lines but met a wall of resistance, proving once again that this land would not fall easily. On the Kupyansk front, the enemy launched 12 aggressive assaults, targeting areas like Gloshkivka, Sinkivka, and Kindrashivka. Ukrainian units held their ground against the onslaught, pushing back Russian forces trying to break through near Zaryzovy, Novoplatonivka, and Zeleniahai. 17 Russian assaults marked the intensity in the Lyman sector. From Druzhelyubivka to Shoneshkina, Russian forces attacked relentlessly, even resorting to aerial strikes on settlements like Tverdolibov. Yet, every attempt to advance was crushed under the vigilant watch of Ukraine's defenders. The Russians focused their might in the Kramatorsk direction, striking Ukrainian positions with aerial bombs and ground assaults. Villages like Stupachki and Chasivyar became battlegrounds, but Ukrainian soldiers held firm. Every effort by the Russians to improve their position was thwarted, highlighting the precision and preparedness of Ukraine's defense. In Toretsk, the day saw the Russians attempting infiltration twice, backed by airstrikes on Katerinivtsi and Ivanopil. Despite the intensity, Ukrainian forces stood their ground, ensuring that no breach threatened their defensive integrity. The Pokrovsk direction witnessed the heaviest fighting of the day, with 55 offensive actions by Russian forces. The main targets included Rumain, Lysivka, and Kruti Yar, among others. Yet, Ukrainian forces repelled 49 attacks, with six more skirmishes ongoing. The scale of destruction here is grim, with 167 Russian casualties reported, along with the destruction of two armored personnel carriers, one infantry fighting vehicle and other military equipment. In the Kurakiv sector, 47 combat clashes kept Ukrainian forces engaged. The Russians targeted areas like Berestkiv, Romanivka, and Kurakov with both airstrikes and controlled aerial bombs. Yet, the toll on Russian forces was significant, 64 casualties, one tank destroyed, and six armored vehicles including two infantry fighting vehicles rendered inoperable. In the Vremovska sector, 25 clashes punctuated the day. The Gulyaypil sector remained relatively quiet, with Russia opting for aerial bombardments instead of direct assaults. Settlements like Temirivka and Zelenpol bore the brunt of controlled aviation bombs, leaving devastation but no gain for the enemy. Meanwhile, in Pridmiprovsk, Ukrainian forces repelled five direct assaults, maintaining their positions with commendable strength and fortitude. Across the front line, the combined might of Russian forces was met with unrelenting resistance. Despite the intensity of the assaults, Ukraine's defenders held strong, repelling numerous advances and inflicting heavy losses on the enemy. Russian casualties across sectors over 300 were killed or injured. Equipment losses, four armored vehicles, two tanks and multiple logistical units were destroyed. As the battle rages on, the story of Ukraine's resilience grows stronger with each passing day. This war is not just about borders, it's about the right to exist as a free and sovereign nation. Thank you for tuning in. The voice continues, resolute and hopeful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay informed about the ongoing courage of the Ukraine and Russia war.